The US FTC has finalized the car buying rules to rein in dealer junk fees. This comes after a lengthy delay impacting bait and switch tactics, junk fees, and a number of other dealer infractions. Ladies and gentlemen, gear up and buckle in because now, finally, we're headed into a game-changing era in the automotive world. I'm your host, Kevin Hunter, the homework guy. And right over here is the amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Well, thanks for that enthusiastic intro, Kevin. Stay tuned for this show, friends, and welcome everyone to this special episode where we're revving up to announce something big the long-awaited implementation of the FTC's rules for car dealers. Are you ready to navigate the road of car buying with more confidence and power than ever before? Well, the day that seemed like it would never come is finally here. We're here to break down what these groundbreaking FTC rules mean for you, the consumer. From increased transparency to fairer deals, it's all about putting you in the driver's seat without all the nonsense charges and bogus add-ons. And by the way, we are the only content creators here on YouTube who have published a useful version of the FTC rules for consumers to use. That's right. It's been on our website at the link appearing on the screen, and we'll put it in the description box below. Join me and Elizabeth as we cruise through these new regulations, hit the need to know highlights, and share some real life stories that will fuel your car buying journey. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay up to speed with the latest in the auto industry. Let's shift into high gear and discover this exciting breaking news together. There is a grace period before the implementation deadline, but every car dealer in the nation must now sit up and pay attention to what just happened. Auto dealers will be barred by the FTC from luring vehicle buyers with promises they do not keep and will not be able to charge you junk fees any longer. Hallelujah. Yeah. Auto dealers will also be barred from charging for junk services, like a service contract for an oil change on an electric vehicle. Under the new rule, the U.S. Federal Trade Commission announced last Tuesday. The rule deadline for implementation is July 30, 2024, but every dealer in the country has to be scrambling right now to get themselves compliant long before that deadline approaches or face big fines and possible shutdown. The last thing any dealer wants to do right now is turn themselves into a court exhibit for the FTC during this grace period. Right. And that's exactly what will happen with offenders over the next few months as long as you car buyers turn in the offending dealers. And I can promise you this much. If you think the FTC will be slow to respond to your complaint, you can file the complaint with us and we will contact the FTC on your behalf. The offending dealer will be held accountable. The rules will fundamentally change how millions of Americans buy vehicles annually by requiring upfront pricing in dealer's advertising and sales discussions and bar the sale of any add-on product or service that confers no real benefit to the consumer. Notably, stuff like nitrogen-filled tires and the bogus window etching product supposedly designed to deter a car theft. In these rules, finalized last Tuesday and first announced back in 2022, the FTC said that it had been concerned about dealers allegedly targeting young men and women in the military. By the way, a full printout of these rules are available on our website, thehomeworkguy.com. Never set foot in a dealership again without having downloaded this printout from our website and having it in your hand. If you print it off, and you should, read through it and then sit down with a highlighter and hit all the important spots so you can flip to it with ease when you need to in the dealership. The FTC says car dealers have been particularly ruthless with service members. By the age of 24, around 20% of young service members have at least 20000 in auto debt, the agency said in a statement, which said that the rule prohibits dealers from lying to service members and other consumers about important cost and financing information. Consumer Reports said the FTC proposal will bar shady tactics by car dealers that can boost the cost of new vehicles. Sam Levine, director of the FTC's Bureau of Consumer Protection, said that consumers often begin car shopping by comparing prices before going to a dealer. The reality is once you actually get to the dealership, you find the model you like, it's in stock, and you get closer to the end of the transaction, you realize that the price that's been advertised is not actually the price at which you can drive away with the car, he said. As many of you may recall us reporting last spring, the rules, which attracted sharp criticism from the National Automobile Dealers Association, NADA, takes aim at practices the FTC says cost consumers $3.4 billion annually and prolong the vehicle shopping process. I think the number could actually be much higher than that. I think so too. Back at it with his rhetoric, Mike Stanton, CEO of NADA, the National Auto Dealers Association, said in a statement on Tuesday, this regulation is heavy-handed bureaucratic overreach and redundancy at its worst. 
that will needlessly lengthen the car sales process by forcing new layers of disclosures and complexity into the transaction. He continued saying the FTC made up data to support its claims, then rejected calls to slow down the process and test the effectiveness of its proposal with real consumers. We are exploring all options on how to keep this ill-conceived rule from taking effect. Mike Stanton, you should be hanging your doggone head in shame. While good for consumers, the rules would specifically bar misrepresentations about price, cost, and the total cost of the vehicle. Dealers will also be required to obtain consent for any charges they add to a vehicle's price. And nobody should ever consent. Well, exactly. They would be barred from charging for add-ons useless to the buyer, such as selling nitrogen-filled tires that contain no more nitrogen than actual normal air. The ruthless NADA previously said the FTC proposal would up and the sales process for tens of millions of consumers annually in thousands of small businesses. The trade group has called the rule premature, legally deficient, factually inaccurate, and exceedingly confusing for consumers and dealers. All nonsense. Man, talk about factual inaccuracies. <laughs> We're talking about everything a dealer says to a consumer is almost all factual inaccuracies. Mm -hmm. The FTC previously estimated its rule would save consumers three hours of the total time spent researching and visiting dealerships to buy a vehicle. However, a May analysis from the Center for Automotive Research found the average consumer would spend two more hours on a vehicle transaction. Just more nonsense and predictable whining about having to do the right thing. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> The whiners go on to say that the automotive retail industry would also incur between $18.69 billion and $22.34 billion in additional compliance costs over the course of a decade because of the FTC rule. More than 10 times the $1.36 billion to $1.57 billion predicted by the agency the center found. The whiners go on to say that an individual dealership location would spend a median $46,950 in upfront costs and $50,958 in recurring expenses every year to comply with the regulation, according to the analysis, which was based on polling of more than 60 dealerships. Crooked dealerships, I might add. Right. The Center for Automotive Research had undertaken the analysis at the request of NADA, which helped identify possible survey candidates among its members. Wow, this study was very unbiased. <laughs> <laughs> Joining with the NADA Winers, the Alliance for Automotive Innovation, representing General Motors, Toyota Motor, Volkswagen, and other major automakers, raised concerns about the FTC plan and warned against excessive regulation and micromanagement of the sales experience. Funny how not one of these organizations warned dealers that this day would come if they didn't clean up their act and stop screwing their customers. When and where was Mike Stanton ever on his podium warning dealers that their unethical practices had to stop? Not a word leading up to this from Mr. The Sky is Falling. Right. To contradict the NADA whiners, I'd like to share real-life situations our viewers have been put in. Viewer HC Tim reports, When I bought my 2020 Mazda CX-30, I used the out-the-door pricing email strategy. I picked the lowest local dealer. When I got there, they said the quote was misquoted, and that started the eight-hour renegotiation game. They just wanted to get me in the door and try to beat me up. I caught them in many shady tricks, like trying to charge me for a reconditioning fee on my used car. I had no used car. Every piece of paper with numbers changed when presented again to me. I took pictures. I was stuck because I had sold my car to Carvana that day. Car dealers are like whale dung. They are so low, they sit at the bottom of the ocean just to get ahead in the world. Don't ever go to West Shore Mazda Honda in Tampa. They just lie and lie and lie. That's a lot of lies. That's a lot. So there you have it. And thanks, Tim, for calling out the offending dealer. Friends, the dealer who pulled this on Tim is appearing on the screen now. As Tim says, don't ever go to West Shore Mazda Honda in Tampa. They are an example of the kind of dealers that we warn you about, but their days of misconduct are numbered. Tim, we'd love to have you file a formal complaint with the FTC. Or get in touch with us and we'll help you do that. Here's a comment from one of our channel members, Mark Miller. Mark writes, I almost pulled the trigger on what seemed to be a great deal, around 5% below MSRP, but could not get this dealer to lift a few hundred in fake fees. He would not, so I walked away from a 90000 plus truck deal, wow. all because I refused to purchase window etching and over-the-state max dock fees. These fake fees also put him above cost on a previous offer. After just two weeks of continuing my search for quotes and holding out, newly listed vehicles are popping up and prices coming down even more, finding better deals now. Good thing I waited as more inventory is showing up and more better deals apparently would indicate dealers are bending on OTD final costs as the year end gets closer. 
I am typically finding those who offered 5% under MSRP are now offering up to 10% below MSRP now. Most smart buyers are simply not paying these inflated costs and the dealers are feeling it. I have seen trucks sell for top dollar though. It's obvious these types are the dealer favorites. Buyers with no knowledge, there is no doubt in my mind it pays to be patient, wait, and watch the market. Right on the money as usual, Mark. Friends, if you feel you lack the skills to hold dealers accountable with these FTC rules and you're hungry for a great car deal like we've described, put me and Kevin in your corner by becoming a member of our YouTube channel and have us talk you through to success. To get this kind of direct involvement, sign up for the consults level today at $49.99 and then reach out to Kevin right away at the cell number posted on our members only community page. What's extra special is that you won't just get stuck with a homework guy staffer to work with, you actually get us. Nobody else on YouTube offers this. If you are a member on our channel, we've really enjoyed working with you and we thank you. Also, for all of you, including our members, don't forget to visit our website, thehomeworkguy.com. There are so many great resources, all there for free, and no smart car buyer should ever pass it up. And thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back, and to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, The Homework Guy, signing off with amazing Elizabeth, The Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth, justice, and transparency in the car business, and always will. We, we gotta, gotta go. go. You can't go!